Hey, this is Presh Tollwalker. Leela's age is the sum of the digits of her math teacher's age. Both birthdays have already happened in the year. In five years, Leela's age will be the product of the digits in her math teacher's age at that time. What is Leela's age now? Leela's math teacher's age is a two-digit number. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try. And when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. So the math teacher's age is a two digit number, which will represent as 10 A plus B. A is a digit going from one to nine and B will be a digit going from zero to nine. But there are two cases to consider. First, suppose that B is a digit from 0 to 4. So suppose the teacher's age right now is 24. Here, B is equal to 4. In five years' time, the teacher's age will be 29. So in five years' time, the teacher's age will be 10A plus B plus 5. But what if instead B were a digit from 5 to 9? Say the teacher's age is 26 with B equal to 6. In five years' time, the teacher's age will be 31. There's carryover in the digits. So the teacher's age will be represented as 10 multiplied by a plus 1 plus b minus 5. So we'll tackle each of these cases separately. Let's start out with b being a digit from 0 to 4. So let's say that Leela's age right now is x. In 5 years time, Leela's age will be x plus 5. Now let's say the teacher's age is 10a plus b. In five years time, the age will be 10a plus b plus five. Now after their birthdays, Leela's age is the sum of the digits of her math teacher's age. So that means x is equal to a plus b. Now in five years time, Leela's age will be the product of the digits in her math teacher's age at that time. So that means x plus five is equal to the digit a multiplied by the digit b plus 5. So let's take a look at these equations. Let's multiply through on the right hand side. So x plus 5 is equal to a b plus 5a. Then x is equal to a plus b, so we substitute in. Now we simplify this equation to get 5 is equal to a b plus 4a minus b. Now there are only five cases to consider for b. b is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4. So let's try each value. If b is equal to 0, the equation simplifies to be 5 is equal to 4a, which means a is equal to 5 over 4. If b is equal to 1, the equation becomes 6 is equal to 5a, which means a is equal to 6 over 5. If b is equal to 2, we have 7 is equal to 6a, so a is equal to 7 over 6. And we continue this for all the possible values of b. Notice that all of the values for a are fractions, which are not whole numbers. So there are no solutions here because we need a and b both to be integers. So this entire case yields no solution. So we eliminate it and we know that b has to be a digit from 5 to 9. So let's do the same calculation. If Leela's age is x now, it'll be x plus 5 in 5 years. If the teacher's age is 10a plus b now, then in 5 years, it'll be 10 multiplied by a plus 1 plus b minus 5. Now, Leela's age is the sum of the digits in her math teacher's age, so x is equal to a plus b. And then in 5 years time, it is the product of the digits, so x plus 5 is equal to a plus 1 multiplied by b minus 5. We will now focus on these equations. We will expand the binomial on the right hand side. So x plus five is equal to a b minus five a plus b minus five. x is equal to a plus b, so we substitute in. And then we will simplify this equation. We get 10 is equal to a b minus six a, which can be factored as 10 is equal to a multiplied by b minus six. Now, once again, we could just try out the cases, we could try out each value of b, but in this case, we'll do something a little different. 
10 is a number which can be factored as 1 multiplied by 10, 2 multiplied by 5, 5 multiplied by 2, or 10 multiplied by 1. So we can take the first number to be a and the second number to be b minus 6. So we can just go through each of these cases and solve for the pairs a and b. We need both of them to be single digits, so that eliminates these three cases, and we are left with a is equal to 5 and b is equal to 8, which means the teacher's age is 58. But we're not quite done yet. We need to solve for Leela's age. So Leela's age is the sum of the digits in her math teacher's age, which means Leela's age is 5 plus 8, which equals 13. And that's the answer. Now just to check, let's see what happens in five years' time. Leela will be 18, and the teacher will be 63. And in fact, Leela's age 18 is the product of the digits in the math teacher's age, which is 6 times 3. Therefore, the unique solution to this puzzle is that Leela's age is 13. And that's the answer. I personally find it a fun exercise to work out problems by hand, and perhaps it keeps my brain sharp. But I also care about being right. So in the computer age, it's also good to know how to hack the problem numerically to make sure your calculations are correct. So what is a good tool to attack this problem? We know the teacher's age is a two-digit number. That means the teacher's age is a whole number going from 10 to 99. That's a manageable number of possibilities. So when you have a small number of calculations, a good tool to attack the problem would be a spreadsheet. So here I've opened up a blank sheet in Google Sheets. We'll set up one column to be the teacher's age. The first possibility for this is 10. We're going to increase this column to 99. But first, let's do the calculation for each possibility of the teacher's age. So we can calculate Leela's age, which is said to be the sum of the digits of the teacher's age. So we want the sum of the digits in 10. So how do we do that? We want to take the character 1 and then add the character 0. So to do that, we'll take left, the first character from the left, that'll be 1. Then we'll go right and take the first character from the right. So adding these up together gives Leela's age of 1. Now what happens in five years' time? Well, the teacher's age has increased by five. And the same is true for Leela's age. So we will take each of these and add five to them. Now in this case, we need to see the product of the digits in the teacher's age. So we need the product of the digits. So here, we're going to take the digit 1, which will be the first digit on the left, and multiply it by 5, which will be the first digit on the right. Now we need to see if this is equal to Leela's age in 5 years. So is it true? What we'll do is we'll set up an expression. So we have if the product is equal to Leela's age, we're going to say this is a success, that's a 1, otherwise it's a 0. So we now set up this row. We can see we don't have a success when the teacher's age is 10. Now we need to increase this over all possibilities. So we'll add 1 to the teacher's age. And then we can just copy down all of these formulas. So we copy these and then we paste them. Now we need to go all the way up to 99. So we'll copy this entire row. And we just need to copy it enough time so that we get up to 99. So I've already put a placeholder here. We'll just copy this across. And now we've considered all possibilities of the teacher's age. So do we have any successes? What we need to do is see if any entry in column G is equal to 1. So we'll set up a filter. So we'll create a filter here, and we will see if we have any successes. So we go ahead and do that. And we get exactly one success. This is exactly the same solution we calculated before. At the beginning, the teacher's age is 58 and Leela's age is 13. In five years time, we get 63 and 18. So Leela's age right now is 13 years. 
and we figure this out in a numerical way. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems, one video at a time. <laughs>